All right, this session, uh, we're going to make a hanging cat radio. Uh, no, I don't mean we're going to hang a kitty cat. We're not going to string up a kitty cat and make a radio out of it. What I'm talking about is we're going to make a radio that hangs on the wall, and it's going to have a cat theme. Um, I have a friend that is a cat lover. She, she really likes cats, and she also collects old radios, antique radios. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make an antique radio. We'll use the cathedral style, okay? It'll be kind of like so. Okay, and then we'll, we'll have the knobs on it. And then the top up here, uh, let's see, we'll go kind of around like so. And let's see, I think we'll put some um, grill work here, like so. And then in the back of the grill, directly, we'll put our kitty cat. Just sitting there, looking out from inside. Okay? <laughs> and, um... That should be pretty cute. Okay? You see that? Kind of. That's the idea. And the whole thing is only going to be about, oh, maybe an inch thick. And this will be to where it'll hang on the wall. It'll be a functioning radio, but it'll be made to hang on the wall. The, 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 the lady says uh, every square inch of table space in her house is taken up. There's no room for any more radios on the table. So I need to make something that's not going to go on the table. All right, first we're going to, uh, let's see, we'll lay out the front panel. Got a piece of plywood here. This is quarter inch plywood. We'll make it out of that. Okay, now I'm just going to use this piece of plywood here. There's uh, not enough here to make multiple projects, so we'll just make this thing. It's about eight inches wide. Okay, that's good enough. First, I'm going to draw a line down the middle, just to use as a reference. That looks good. Not important. Okay, and then I'm going to make the top. We'll just, uh, let's see, we'll go out about like that. There. Didn't get that in the middle, hey? Okay. That looks good. Now, our aspect ratio. Okay, I'm going to just draw that in so I can see it better. If I can't see it, I won't be able to cut it. Okay. All right. Now, um, we need a good aspect ratio on it. Okay, it should be to look right about like that. Let's see. Okay, so we're going to go... That's going to look about right. Okay. Okay, so the first thing we do, we'll cut this out, and then we're going to make our grill. Well, we can lay the grill out right now before we start anything. Okay, now... The center is actually over a little bit. I'm going to go here. Okay, that looks more like the center. Okay, we go here, here, yeah, that's pretty close. Okay, so now we'll go here and we'll make our cutout for the grill. Looks good. Good enough. Okay, I'm going to come around here. Okay, that's going to be our grill. Now, our okay, now what we'll do first is we'll um, get our kitty. I found a picture of a kitty. That's the kitty we're going to use. Okay, now let's see. 
That's about five inches, let's see, so that kitty's four, one, two, three and a half inches wide. Okay, I'm going to chop this down. Okay, that. Okay, now let's take a look at that. Out of our kitty. All right, there's a picture of our kitty. You, our, our ink cartridge is about to run out, so when I make the real one, this is just our what we use for making the radio. Um, when I go to make the real image, I'll go ahead and put brand new cartridges in the printer, and it'll make a perfect picture, okay? All right, now, let me go ahead and cut this. All right, there's our kitty. Oh, wow. Oh, that's going to be too big. We should have left it the same size. Okay. That'll be a little too big. I think before it was better. Okay. I'm going to go run another copy of that off. Okay. Now, let's see. Now, here we have our kitty cat. She's going to be right in the middle of the deal like that. Now, when we put in the some bars. We don't want them to like block the cat off totally. So what we'll do, I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the cat just a little to the side. All right. Okay, if we put one, see if we put it right down the middle, we're going to block it, her nose. So we'll put it off just a little to the side. And then we'll put another one right here. Another one there. Okay. Alright, so let's put one right down the middle and we're going to want it, okay, three eighths wide roughly. Okay, we're just going to go right here. And that's going to be the width of it. Okay, now the cat will be about right here. Okay, so we're going to put another one here. Okay, and then another one It's going to block one eye. Okay, we'll have one eye hidden off. That'll go like that. That'll go like that. Probably would be better to block the nose off than the eyes. So what we'll do is we're going to put one right in the middle and one on each side. Okay, that'll be the best way. Okay. Okay, and then we'll put one more on the side. There. Okay, and then over here. I'm just eyeballing them. They're not that critical as to where they go. Okay. And then this will come around here. I'm just going to round them off. Like that. Okay. All right. Now that gets our grill work laid out. And seeing our kitty will be able to fit right back in there. And his eyes will show through. His ears will show through. The only thing it won't show directly is his nose. But that, that'll be okay. You'll still see a kitty very well in there. Okay, now the next thing we have to do is we have to cut all this out. All right, first we drill holes in here so that we can get the scroll saw in. Well, I guess first we'll go ahead and we'll cut the size.
Okay, and that's going to be our basic radio size. Okay, next we have to cut out the grill work. All right, now we need to have a hole in each one of these so that we can start the scroll saw. Okay. All right. Here we have a scroll saw. We have a little blade that sticks straight up. It's like a saber saw, but with the blade sticking straight up. And that blade just goes up and down. And we can just take our uh, piece and we can just saw these uh, various things out. Now this is going to make a hell of a noise, so you won't hear any uh, audio. Now, that gives us our uh, grill. All right. <clears throat> now, this is just a transistor radio. I pulled the guts out of an old transistor radio. Um, the, the, the radio it came out of, the case was uh, completely ruined. It was no good. But the radio still plays good. So uh, we're going to use this radio as the uh, guts for the, uh, for the radio. Okay. Now, we have the tuning knob here, and that has to come out the front, so what we're going to do is we're going to mount that radio like that, so that that tuning knob will come out of there. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to mark right where that's going to go, okay? That's going to look good right there, okay? Now, we're going to make it symmetrical, so I'm going to... Um, put the volume control knob on the other side exactly the same place. See, I've extended the wires for the volume control wire here, and we'll just mount that potentiometer there and then solder the wires onto it. And then the speaker will mount up here in back of the cat. 
Okay, now the distance here, about like that. Okay, those are going to be the locations for the controls. Now, we have plenty of room. Now, we have got to have a box in the back of this thing. You know, we don't want to just have all this uh, radio and stuff hanging loose. We've got a battery that will mount in there and stuff, so what we have to have is a box. So what we'll do, we're going to just take more of this plywood here, and we're just going to box this thing in. So what we're going to want, I'm going to make the thing, let's see what the depth is here. Um, Okay, one inch is completely satisfactory. We're going to make it one inch deep. Okay, that'll let it hang on the wall very nicely without sticking out too far. And uh, it'll be uh, just perfect. It looks good. Okay, that gets us our strips of wood that will be making the back box. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, um, <clears throat> before we glue this, I'm going to sand this first to make it look, uh, to get most of the sanding done before we get the box put on it uh, to get the thing to the right size. Okay, we'll do that using the, the belt sander. Okay, that gets us our basic shape. Okay, see now we have this all nice and smooth to where we're ready to glue. Okay, uh, now these I'm going to cut to the right size. Okay, now we'll take these pieces and we'll glue them on.
All right. We just let that harden. It'll take it a, a few hours to set up totally. It's just regular old uh, Elmer's you know, wood glue. Alright, that's been about an hour. Um, okay. Hmm. Hey, could use that one right there. use her as a model. She'd make a good model. She's still a bit too dark though. To do this we're gonna to have to cut a curve so I'll have to get a bigger piece of uh, wood. Alright, we're just going to use a piece of this. Um, okay, first I'm gonna go ahead and cut it to one inch. Okay, we got a piece of this one inch. I'm just going to take and go right here Well, I lost the video um, of gluing it on, but at least it's on there, and this is what it looks like. Okay. Now we'll take another piece of the wood. <clears throat> you see how it's done. I'm just going to hold that in there. Trace it. Okay, I'm just going to bandsaw that out and we'll make us the piece that will fit there. Okay, I've just cut that out on the bandsaw and that just fits right in there. And we'll just glue it on there and that's going to be it. Now we don't worry about the, the little cracks and things. We'll fill those in with, with filler once we get everything glued. Okay, we'll leave that for a few hours and that's going to be that. Alright, this ought to be dry. Okay. A little crack. We'll use this stuff. This is, um, it's a water glue. Alright, I got it right that time. You want it to be kind of like peanut butter. This stuff hardens like rock. It's um, it's called Dales or something like that. It's water putty. Get it at the hardware store. It's cheap. Fills excellently. And that will give us our case. All right. Uh, our filler is dry, so now we'll go ahead and we'll sand this down and we'll get the whole front of the uh, radio in good shape. To do that, we of course use this belt sander. Okay. Alright, 
Now, the next thing we're going to do, we have to sand out the uh, inside of these. I'm just going to use this to Now, I've got a few little places here didn't go. I'll get a smaller one of these and we'll use it to go into smaller areas. All right, this one's smaller diameter so it'll get into the smaller places. Okay, that looks real good. Now, we're going to go ahead and clean up the uh, front. All right, that looks good. <clears throat> now, what it'll look like, we can just go ahead and give it a little test real quick here. Okay, here's our rough kitty picture. And we we'll just have that in there like that. <laughs> I'll go ahead and extend him down a little bit. Or maybe just put him down a little bit. Go like that. I want to get his eyes, I'll have his eyes to where they show up good. Oh my goodness, what next? Okay, that'll be real cute. All right. Okay, the next thing that has to be done is mounting the radio. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drill the two holes for the um, controls. <coughs> okay, now we've got our two holes here. Okay, now the volume control is very easy. It'll just stick through the wood there and we'll, we'll hold it in with some uh, glue. Okay, now this one's a little more com com complicated here. See, that has to line up. Let's see, it goes like this here. And we've got to make a shaft. Yeah. that's going to mount onto that. See, we don't stick out enough here to go all the way through the wood, so we got to machine a little shaft that's going to extend that out so that we can put a knob on the front. All right, go ahead and do that. All right, let's see. Um, diameter of the shaft is 234. Okay, so we need a hole in the end of it that will fit over there, 234 diameter. And then we'll make it uh, stick out about an inch. Okay, we'll make it a uh, quarter inch diameter. We drill it to 234. That 
probably hold. It's pretty thin. Okay, I want to make sure that this fits in there. Okay, fits pretty good, but it could go a little deeper. That's perfect. Okay. Seeing that, we'll just go onto there like that. We'll epoxy it on there and that'll give us our tuning knob. Okay? Alright, next thing we have to do, we have to epoxy this uh, shaft onto the tuning condenser. We'll use some JB Quick for that so it'll be quick. You just need a little itty bitty drop of it here. A little more. There we go. All right, now we'll just let that sit there for a while and harden, and then we'll be ready to screw the radio onto the front. Okay, now we're not going to do that right now. We're going to go ahead and stain the radio. Okay, we're going to use Colonial Maple and go from there. That should make it a nice wood color. Okay. Okay, now that's not going to stain the same color as the front, so we'll use some spray to go ahead and equalize it later. It isn't that important. The sides just don't make any difference. Okay, now we're going to do the insides. I'm going to do that using a Marxalot. Okay, we want this to be black. Okay, now the stain has soaked in, so now we just go ahead and we dry, we just wipe off the extra stain. Okay. Now, before we um, lacquer it, we have to let it sit overnight to completely dry the stain. Okay, uh, this is dry. Now what we're going to do is we're going to use this spray um, brown walnut medium brown spray and we're going to even out the color on it uh, to make it look a little better before we go ahead and lacquer it. Okay, I'm just going to take this and I'm just going to just going to lightly do it. I'm not going to put a heavy coat on it. 
All I'm doing is just, just richening the brown of it a little. Okay, I better let that dry a little bit. That looks pretty good, actually. I'm going to leave it that color. I'm going to leave it that color. That looks good. Okay, that's going to do it. Now, we're going to let that dry overnight again, and then we're going to coat it with uh, clear lacquer. All right, we've got this dry. So what we're going to do now is we're going to coat it with the lacquer, and... Um, get it to where it's nice and shiny. I'm just going to use canned lacquer. Okay, now we're going to let that dry overnight, and we'll put more of it on there tomorrow. Alright, our lacquer is dry. It looks really nice, okay? Now, the next thing we have to do is we have to get our grill cloth to fit inside there, okay? What I'm going to do is just cut this to the right size, okay? And we'll cut that off about right there. Okay, and then the height, and we'll cut it along here. It'll be there. Okay, I'm just going to mark down here. Okay, and I'm just going to cut it smaller. Let's see, did I make that the right width? No, we got to make all of it smaller. Okay, we're going to go just a little bit smaller all the way around. Okay. Now. Okay. That fits right in there like that. Okay, see that looks really nice. Okay, now our kitty cat, okay, we're going to put him in there just like that. That looks pretty good, right like that. All right, now the cat is going to fit, he's going to go right there, so I'm going to mark right where I have to spray glue. Okay, I'm not going to overdo it right now, okay? Now, we're just going to take this spray glue. That's it. So I don't want to overdo it. Okay, I didn't get that part. There we go. All right, now. We take our kitty cat, and he goes. I'm not going to press him down. I'm just going to hold it there. Okay. That looks real good. That looks real good. Okay, I'm just going to press him down. Okay, that gets the kitty into position. All right. Now, the next thing we do, we're going to stick the grill cloth in over the top. So now, we go ahead and we blast the whole thing with spray glue. Including the cat. 
Okay. That looks good. Okay. Now this has gotten spray glue on it. I'm going to get rid of it. Okay. Gets that out of the way. All right. Here goes. Okay. We got the front. I'm going to put that in there. I'm going to get that just right. Okay. Okay, I'm going to stick the top half and then pull out tight to make sure that it doesn't sag. Okay? Alright, that looks really good. Okay. I'm just, just pressing it down onto the sticky. All right, there's our kitty. <laughs> he doesn't look happy. He does not look happy at all. <laughs> all right, that's going to do. Okay, now what I want to do, I'm going to hold my hand in the back here and I'm going to press the kitty onto the grill cloth. Okay, he's going to stay. He's going to stay put. Okay. All right, he's all put in there just right. Okay, the next thing to do is to put the, um, the radio in. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and use some of this stickum tape here and two little screws to hold the radio in. Alright, the radio sits in there right like this. A piece of this tape to hold the circuit board itself up off of the wood. Okay, I'm just going to stick some right here. Just kind of a foam tape that'll keep the keep the circuit board up off the off of everything a little bit. It doesn't it isn't important. It doesn't make any difference at all, but it'll just keep it from getting damaged. Okay? And then we have two little screws. You know, it's not like we're mounting a bull elephant. It's just a little bitty el uh, radio. Okay, we're going to just take this one. And we put it into here. I made the hole a little bit tight so that it'll just screw into the wood. And there we go. See, and then that sticks out. Works good. All right. All right. Now, if I remember right, okay, the red is the battery. Okay, the brown. Okay, there. All right. Okay. Very good. And then the I'm very good at doing this. I don't ever write down anything, so I forget what I did. Very good. That's the way you always do everything. Randomly, haphazardly, carelessly. That way you have maximum frustration. 
life should not be present, pleasant. It should always be frustrating. At least that's the way I look at it. Okay. That looks very good. Okay, now um, we ought to test it to make sure it works. Let's see. <clears throat> Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to stick that speaker right up in the top here. Okay, what we're going to do is we're just going to take this speaker and we're going to heat glue it into position. I'm just going to put a little bead of heat glue. Since it's very light, we can just glue it to the back of the... Uh, grill cloth with no problem. Okay, I'm just going to stick it right on there. Okay. You know, it's not like we're mounting a bull elephant. I mean, this is just a little bitty speaker. <laughs> it isn't going to come off of there. See, that's just solid as can be. Okay. Okay, the next thing we got to do is make up the two knobs. All right, we've got us a couple of knobs here that'll go just right on the radio. Um, one of these shafts is sticking out just a little bit too far, so I'm going to cut that off using this Dremel tool. Okay, now, okay, this one here is a volume and it says volume. Okay, that's a little loose. I'm going to go ahead and tighten her up here. Yeah. A little more. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, get the dust off here. Okay, and then the other one will go right onto here. It should fit directly. Okay. Okay, that gets the complete radio itself done. Okay, we got one more thing to do, and that is we need a back for it. Um, <coughs> okay, got a little piece of old Luan here. All right. All right. I'll go ahead and um, band saw that off. All right. That looks good. Now, what we're going to do, make us a little battery door. We have to have a battery door so we can get in and change the battery. Okay, I'm just going to go right here and right here. Okay, and height will go up. It's right there. Okay, that will be our battery door. All right, now we're going to make our battery box. We have to have something to keep the battery from moving around, so we're just going to go in there with uh, this. I got some little pieces of wood here that I cut. Okay. And we will just make a little box here, okay? That's going to go in there right like that. Hmm. 
not perfect, but it's good enough. I should have cut that off a little bit. Gah! Okay, now the side, okay, that'll go in there like that. Okay, that looks good. All right. See, and that'll keep the battery from rattling around. See, and that'll go like that. We'll make a little cover to go over it. Okay, now to hold the um, back on, I need little blocks of wood here. I'm just going to glue them in the corner here. All right, and then in the top, put a couple more. Okay. Okay. Now, that takes care of all that. Okay, now we need a little door to go on there to cover the battery up, and that's going to finish it. Okay, we got a little door here. Now we'll just put a screw in there to hold it. Put that there. Completely excellent. Okay? And that's our cat radio. <laughs> Isn't it gorgeous? And that'll, um, we'll put a little hook on there, you know, coat, uh, a uh, picture hanging hook on the back so it'll hang on the wall and you'll just have a radio. <laughs> okay, that's it.